Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'm going to be evaluating the WAVE accounting software based on Chapter 6 of the Fit Small Business case study. Um, so, uh, this case study deals with project uh, accounting, um, which uh, WAVE does not have much of. Um, but let's get started here. So the first bullet asks, on February 15th, prepare an estimate for a job titled Family Bowling Kitchen Remodel. Okay, so within WAVE, we can do estimates by going to Sales and then Estimates. And we can create an estimate. Okay, so we can choose a customer. So this was Family Bowling. Okay. And we're supposed to make it February 15th. Okay. So, I don't see anywhere here to create a project, which is what I thought. So there's no way we can assign this estimate to a particular project within Family Bowling. It's just all going to be Family Bowling. But let's go ahead and create the estimate. So the uh, case study asks us uh, to put in labor hours of 10 hours at $80 per hour. So labor 10. Now it's putting the cost of the labor in there. What we want to show in the estimate is going to be the uh, amount we bill for the labor, which is $80. Okay, let's add a line uh, for the, tells us 10 plumbing widgets. So we can add plumbing widgets. Um, 10 and actually for some reason the description didn't pull over so we'll just add that manually okay uh, and then said make sure to add in the six percent six percent sales tax on the plumbing widgets so not on the labor but only on the widgets New York State six percent there we go um, oh, and the price of the plumbing widgets, again, it comes up as our cost for the plumbing widgets. What we want is the sales price of the plumbing widgets at $25. So there we go. There's our estimate. So that was, uh, that was pretty easy. Okay, so we can go ahead and save it. So creating the estimate was simple enough. Um, however, there's no way to assign this estimate to the project. Um, so that's no good. Uh, so the next step asks us on February 22nd, pay Hank $30 per hour to complete the project and then record eight widgets to complete the project. And then we want to compare actual to estimate. Well, we can't do any of that because we don't uh, have a project to apply those things to. So we can create the estimate, but then there's no way to track estimate versus actual. So uh, not much for project accounting in uh, WAVE, which is not unusual for a a free or low priced accounting software. Uh, okay, while we're here, let's just convert this to an invoice to see how easy it is. So let's hit convert to invoice. So they've accepted the estimate. You've done the work. Regardless of what the actual costs are, you're going to bill them what you what you gave them in the estimate. So let's convert this to an invoice. Okay, there we go, and everything just came straight over from the invoice. Save the invoice. Okay, gives us a draft, approve the draft. Mark it as sent. Okay, and there we go. So we've got our invoice created. Excellent, okay. Uh, so that's it for chapter six. Actually, let's go ahead and let's fill out our rubric. Um, so within WAVE, create an estimate, no problem. Assign the estimate to a project. We weren't able to do that. We did get to add labor, add inventory, add sales tax, but then we could not assign the actual inventory or labor because there is no project. And so we couldn't compare actual to estimated. So um, WAVE is very good for creating estimates. Um, however, uh, there is really no project accounting within it. Okay, thank you.